Alexa Cole, the math lady. Today we're working on adding mixed numbers, and we're going to do that by focusing on our SOS technique. Do you remember what that is? Ah, yes, the S stands for shape. Shape means make sure it has a common denominator so you can work with it. It's got to be speaking the same language, right? Okay, the O stands for operate. Do your addition in this case, and then simplify. We either need to reduce or and convert our number. Are you ready? Let's try a few examples. Here I have the number three and a third plus four and a sixth. And what's our problem here? Well, we see we don't have the same denominator, so we just can't go ahead and add. But our shape technique tells us to make sure they have the same denominator. So let's convert these fractions over. What is our least common multiple? It is the number six, which is one of the ones that we have. So let's convert one third over to six, which is going to be three times two is six. So one times two is two sixth. And let's leave our one sixth as is. Now we can add our fractions. Two six plus one six is three six. And while I'm here, I might as well simplify that piece down to one half. But we're not done, are we? We haven't handled our whole numbers yet. We can simply just go 3 plus 4 and get 7. And that means, put these two together, our answer is 7 and a half. And this time we have an example. We have denominators that are not the same, so we've got to find the least common multiple to make sure we've shaped this. Well, we've got a 3 and a 4. What's our least common multiple of 3 and 4? It's 12. So we're going to convert both of these numbers over to twelfths. At least just the fraction piece, because that's all we need. The whole numbers can stay by themselves. 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9. And that comes down to 17 twelfths. And since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just simplify it. That turns into 1 and 5 twelfths. And are we done? No, we haven't handled our whole numbers yet, so let's do that. 6 plus 3 is 9, and now we've got to add these together. 9 plus 1 is 10, and 5 twelfths, that is my full answer. So there you go, just use your SOS technique. You have to first shape, make sure they have the same common denominator by finding your least common multiple, then do your operation, which means add, and then simplify everything, you're ready to go. That's it for me today. Pretty quick one, huh? It's Nicole the Math Lady. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.